Before this video begins, I would like to thank EA for giving me early access to Need for Speed Unbound Volume 3. Volume 3 drops this week, and over the past weekend, I've been playing it. Wow, Volume 3 adds some cool new content for Lakeshore Online, and a new car, which is always welcome to Need for Speed. It just doesn't do enough to match what Need for Speed's rivals are doing, and the content is just not enough, in my opinion, to justify a three-month update cycle. Before this video begins, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more Need for Speed Unbound bound content and hit that like button if you enjoy but let's get right into the good and there's a lot of good in this update the quality of life the quality of life changes are arguably one of the bigger parts of this update and there's so many good quality of life changes uh, you can switch to nighttime free roam in multiplayer race invites no longer overlap when you're trying to customize your car and you're actually able now to teleport across the map as long as you are not in a cop chase and this is massively appreciated now the big new feature of volume 3 are the link up events which are basically need for speeds version of forzathon live where you and a bunch of folks populate an area and complete tasks such as completing jumps drifts and just you know other stunts and as this is happening the cop are increasingly swarming your area you get up to heat level 5 and then once the link up ends you need to escape to bank all the money that you earn it's a lot of fun and I feel like this could be a really fun game mode the more people you have in your lobby and the link ups are also how you unlock the brand new car coming to need for speed unbound in volume 3 the DMC DeLorean yeah listen I'm a fan of Back to the Future as much as the next guy, but Need for Speed is supposed to be a game centered around illegal street racing and tuner culture. And while I don't mind the car being in the game, I, I think the car is cool, I can think of tons of other cars that I feel would personally fit into Need for Speed Unbound more, such as a DC2 Integra, maybe a Honda CRX, or a 2023 BMW M4, Infiniti G35. There, there's plenty of cars that I can think of that I think would fit better than the DMC DeLorean, but we'll be talking about this more so in the bad section. Speaking of new content, we now have Drift Playlists, which are basically what the name suggests they are, uh, which I also welcome. And this can bring more playtime to Need for Speed Unbound, especially if you are a fan of Drip, 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 <laughs> Drip Gang, Drip. <laughs> if you're a fan of drifting, and I really need to go ahead and make some drift class cars because all my cars are grip spec. Having drift in Need for Speed Online now basically opens up a brand new avenue of gameplay, which is really fun. Now, let's talk about the bad. Now, I'm starting this off with the speed pass. Now, the speed pass itself isn't awful. It's just a little odd. First off, it sounds like what the name suggests, a battle pass, but the speed pass isn't really a battle pass. Uh, it acts like a battle pass, but it's 100% free. And it basically is just a replacement to Lakeshore Online's progression from before. And basically this, and basically the speed pass transitions the game into a seasonal ranking system, which basically confirms that we will be receiving another volume update around August, which is when the current speed pass ends. And this will make Need for Speed Unbound the Need for Speed game with the longest post-launch content in years, which is great. I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, it, it does kind of, it, it is a little interesting. I wonder if they're just kind of laying the groundwork for future monetization of Need for Speed. Because you look at other racing games and you look at all the content that they're dropping, but they're also monetizing their game. I feel like if they were to, mo I honestly wouldn't even be that upset if they monetized <laughs> Need for Speed with a battle pass. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry's doing it nowadays. Um, I personally wouldn't buy it because, I mean, just judging from the speed pass that we have, in this update, even though it's 100% free, it's not interesting to me at all. The real, it's just filler content and clothing and, you know, it's not necessarily stuff that excites me to play Need for Speed. I'm not really going to be going out of my way to complete the speed pass when I play Need for Speed Unbound. I'm just going to be doing what I always do. <laughs> and that's kind of why I put it in the bad. It's something that can turn into like a good monetization stream for Need for Speed. Um, and it is something that they could really turn into something that just adds a lot more progression into the game if people want to buy it. Uh, but right now it's 100% free, you don't need to buy it, so I, th I think it's just a little odd. They might just be laying the framework for future monetization. That's what I think they're doing, but who knows. Hey, more money going into Need for Speed hopefully means better content for us, that that's what I hope. Volume 3 on its own is a perfectly fine update and it will keep me playing Need for Speed Unbound, especially with the linkups in the Drift playlist. However, when you factor in that these updates are coming out every three months, what we are getting in each update just isn't enough when you see what other games are doing. 
Getting one new car every three months when your competition is dropping new cars left, right, and center isn't good. The selection of cars being added into Unbound really baffles me, and I believe that Criterion and EA are somewhat just out of the loop when it comes to cars that the community wants. I really enjoy Need for Speed Unbound, and Volume 3 will keep me playing, but Volume 3 also showcases a major problem in Need for Speed Unbound's updates and Criterion's direction when it comes to new content. All of this is my opinion, of course, I want to see Need for Speed as a series fight neck and neck with its competition, but right now it just seems like Unbound is just in cruise control in third place. What do you guys think about this? Be sure to leave your comments in the comment section down below what you guys think about this update. Um, thank, I want to thank EA again and Criterion for giving me early access to Volume 3. If you want to see more content on the channel from Need for Speed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, but that's it for me tonight. Thank you all for hanging out with me, and I will catch you all later Have a good night everyone